Texas in the end zone while Vincent Meek stands at the 10 yard line awaiting the kick by Cody Skates. And he'll put his right foot into it to get the Big 12 conference season underway between Texas Tech and Texas A&M. The kickoff rolls into the end zone and out. So there will not be a return for Ivory McCann. It'll be first and 10 yard line. Cliff Kingsbury at quarterback. Four receiver set. He's changing the play at the line of scrimmage. He's under center. Toby Cecil at center this afternoon. Motion across the backfield and the handoff to the motion man. Welker coming to the near sideline at the 20 to the 25 and bumped out of bounds at the 27 yard line. Heel the safety. So it's second down and three for Tech. Ball in the near hash mark from the shotgun. Trips on the far side and Kingsbury throws to the right sideline. It's caught by Mickey Peters at the 35 to 36 yard line. He's swung out of bounds by Keel, but it's a first down on the first series for Texas. under center this time play action pass right side almost picked off by Keel. It was intended that time for Peters again coming off of the inside receiver. Correction that was Brian Gamble with the block away and now Kingsbury gets batted down at the line of scrimmage with his pass. It's incomplete and that was Jared Morris from Yard line third and ten. Blitz look coming again. Kingsbury has the pass from the shotgun. Throws left side. It's caught by West Welker. Can't get away from the defender at the 34, though, and he's thrown to the third. Sammy Davis. The candy man got him. Bethel Johnson awaiting the punt of Clinton Greathouse. He's standing back at his 20. Just a little rush as he puts his right foot into it. Great kick. High wobbler down to the 21 yard line and Johnson had called fair catch and then he tried to run with it. Got one yard going out of bounds. In fact the Tech officials on the sideline corner. Acock and Pierce your safety. First and 10 from the 22 and it is Dustin Long at quarterback. Eye formation behind him. Play action pass looking left side. Throws it that way and it's caught by Bethel Johnson. McCann at the 20. It's first and 10 tech. Boy Munlin, by the way, is in uniform this afternoon and uh, may get some playing time. Torian Henderson, Vincent Meeks, Boy Munlin, the running backs. Back to pass out of the shotgun goes King where he has time. Swings it left flat to Henderson. He's tackled just outside of the line of scrimmage, maybe a gain of a yard, and that's about it. Offset eye right. They pitch it right to Henderson. He's caught in the back. That time by Jared Morris, who came up. So third down and long for Tech. Almost 12 yards. Kingsbury from the shotgun, flushed out of the pocket, rolling to his left. Still can't find anybody. He'll take it himself, and he's down at the 24-yard line. So he picks up five, but that's not near enough. It'll be fourth down again for Texas Tech. That time the pressure coming. Bethel Johnson awaiting the punt from Great House. Again, an end over end kick that settles down at about the 33, where Johnson reverses his field, coming to the near sideline. Has running room to the 40, the 45, midfield. Into tech territory at the 45. Now goes to midfield, the center of the field at the 38 yard line, and tripped up, dives down to the 36. So Bethel Johnson. The wall is set up, and the Red Raiders are lucky he slipped down. High formation again. Watch for a pass again as Long in at quarterback. No, this time hands off to Derek Farmer coming near side. Has blockers in front of him to the 30 and out of bounds at the 28-yard line. He's making only his second career start through 13 times 
Hand off again to Farmer. He's met at the line of scrimmage, but pushes the pile forward. He'll get the first down at the 24-yard line, coming to the left side of that offensive line. From the sideline, who looks at that and then calls it in the hospital. Well, steal the wristband. Offset eye right, long, straight back to throw. And he throws it, almost intercepted, diving Lawrence Flugents in front of the intended receiver, the tight end, Thomas Carragher. It falls incomplete. That was just a poor throw by Long that time as he had Carragher open. Well, they need to get pumped now. It's second down and 10, and a has got the ball at the Tech 24. Long, rolling to his right to throw. Lobs it into the end zone, and it falls incomplete. Porter was the intended receiver, the tight end, Greg Porter. Josilio Hansen was there to make the play. He just didn't make the tackle. Third down and 10 now. a and already leads it 7 to nothing from the 24-yard line. Whistles blow, and the flags fly. Keep an eye for Aaron Hunt, and he's lined up at no star here on third down. And Keith Joseph has joined Joe Weber in the backfield as Long goes straight back to throw. Pressure coming. Throws the football to the center of the field. It's caught by Porter. Very close to the first down at the 12-yard line. Looks like and he's overcome a big third down and long. I formation now, and Derek Farmer is back in the game at the I back position. He gets the handoff left side. He's got some running room inside the 10 to the 5-yard line. Well, that was just good blocking by the AM now. And here we go with the second down and four yards to go at the Texas Tech 5-yard line. Motion across the backfield, eye formation handoff to Derek Farmer, left side. This time he's met at the line by several Red Raiders and knocked backwards. Lawrence Flugents, the first to get in there. He gains maybe one yard down to the four. It'll be a big third down here for Texas Tech with Flugent. Late substitutions for Tech. Josh Page comes in, as does Robert Wyatt. Two tight ends in now on second down, or third down and three. Long rolling to his right, looking to the end zone, throws it there. It's caught. Touchdown A. Pearson's extra point goes through the uprights for AM. and and boy, this has been a <laughs> Skates kicks off to Ivory McCann at the goal line again. He avoids the tackler at the 12, comes to the near sideline at the 15, the 20, 25-30 and is run out of bounds at the 32-yard line. First and 10 for the Red Raiders from the 32-yard line, and Kingsbury in the shotgun trips on the far side. Straight back to throw, looking to the left side. Now he's got to go out of the pocket again. Tucks it down at the 35 and leans forward to the 40-yard line. They'll mark it just over the 40. Torian Henderson in the backfield with Kingsbury. Four receiver set now, looking left side. Flips it out to Henderson out of the backfield, but three Aggies are meeting him at the 43-yard line. Does get the first down with Cliff Kingsbury. They met at the high school all-star game and have been buddies ever since, although probably not in this 60 minutes. As Kingsbury back to throw again, looks to the right, hits Henderson at about the 43. He scampers across the 45 and has the football almost to midfield. Henderson now with 22 catches for the season. Pretty much goes with the flow of this offense. As you remember, Ricky Williams last year with 92. And Kingsbury to throw again. This time hits Anton Page across the 45, diving for the catch at the 44, right in the center of the field. Kingsbury from under center. Quick throw to the left sideline to Wes Welker. He's got it, tries to break a tackle, gets pushed out of bounds at the 36, now the 34 yard line. Trips on the near side, first and ten for Kingsbury from the shotgun. Delayed handoff goes to Henderson straight up the middle. He's got maybe a yard. Just two down linemen, really, for AM. The rest of them are linebackers or defensive backs on the line, and they're coming with the blitz. Kingsbury reads it, throws it to Mickey Peters. He's got the football at the 20, inside the 20 to the 15. Oh, a great read by Cliff Kingsbury to see the blitz coming. He hit Mickey Peters, who was lined up on the inside receiver spot. On 
Nehemiah Glover in the game, split wide to the right. Kingsbury throwing that direction, but it's to the inside receiver, Peters again. He's got the football at the hash mark inside the five to the four yard. Four receivers in, Carlos Francis now one of them on the near side, split wide to the right. Henderson in the backfield. Just to the left side of Kingsbury, who's changing the play and moves Henderson around. Now pitches to Henderson to the right. And he gets to the sideline, tries to turn it up to the end zone, but cannot. Gets pushed out of bounds instead. And he may have actually got the tackle. It is back to the four. Now Kingsbury under center on second and goal from the four. Straight back to throw. Lob pass, left side of the end zone. Anton Page, touchdown Red Raiders. Another score for Anton Page, his sixth of the season. Sean Weston, the defender. But another great throw by Kingsbury, and Anton Page did a nice little push-off on Weston to go up, get the catch, four-yard touchdown, and the Red Raiders on the board, 14-6 A.M. Robert Treese with the extra point, and that is always perfect, and is again as Treese puts Texas Tech's total to seven here. Five minutes. Jones waiting for the kick, and it's Thomas who bobbles it, drops it at the 5, now picks it back up, has running room to the 10, the 20, gets across the 20 to the 30, and it's finally knocked down at the 32. Joseph is the fullback now in front of Derek Farmer, behind Dustin Long, the quarterback under center, first and 10 from the 30-yard line. Handoff goes to Derek Farmer right side. Lamont Anderson is chasing him, pulls him down at the line of scrimmage. Well, they may give him one yard on the deal right at the sideline. Second down and nine. Two receivers on the near side now for AM and only Derek Farmer in the backfield. Tech showing blitz as the handoff comes left side to Derek Farmer. He avoids a tackler at the line of scrimmage, stiff arms another to the 35, and comes out of bounds on the near side to the 36 Four yards after Ryan Three receivers now, and Terrence Murphy on the near side, Greg Porter and Jamar Taylor on the far side, and Long from the shotgun, straight back to throw. Looks to the right side, has receiver, now it's intercepted by Joselio Hansen at the 35. He's down at the 33-yard line. Hansen picks off the football after Jamar Taylor had it bounce off of him, and Hansen picks it off in the air, heads back a couple yards, and Texas Tech has a first down at the A&M 33-yard line. Doesn't matter the return. Tech has it in the A&M territory at the 33-yard line. And now Kingsbury under center with a handoff to the motion man. That was Welker coming near side, trips under his own power down to the 31-yard line. Seven AM, but Tech driving now on the 31 yard line. Second down and eight. Kingsbury flips it right side to Torian Henderson. He breaks a tackle at the 27, jukes his way to the 24 yard line and sneaks. So here we go. Third and inches from the AM 24 yard line. Flag flies. Now the clock still said 12 seconds on it, so it's not a delay of game. And Anton Page split wide to the left. Kingsbury from the shotgun on third and five. Straight back to throw, has time. Looks to the center of the field. It's caught right at the first down marker. Great catch by Mickey Peters, who was popped as soon as he caught and scored those first two scores. Now Tech's offense has really taken over momentum here of this football game. First and 10, trips on the far side for Kingsbury. Shovel pass to Henderson, has room straight up the middle. Inside the 20, loses his footing at the 17-yard line. But that'll be a gain of about six on first down. It'll be second down and full Last play. Now it's Trey Haverty in the inside receiving position on the right side of the field. Four receivers set. Ball is on the left pass mark for Kingsbury. Blitz is coming out of the shotgun. He's hit as he throws. Wait a minute. They say that this is a live ball as the ball is loose on the field at the 32, and AM has recovered. AM has recovered the football. And I don't know about that one. Jared Morris over going to AM with a minute 49 left in the first quarter. Aggies lead at 14-7. High formation behind Long. Handoff goes to the second back. That's Weber this time playing the tailback position. Leans forward to the 36-yard. They didn't became a race to get that football on the ground. Clay McGuire couldn't get it. The Aggies recover, and they stop a threat that would have tied the ball game. High formation. Handoff goes to Weber. Right side breaks one tackle. Gets across the 40-yard line to the 41. It's down to three seconds. High formation behind Long. 
And the clock has run out, but they're going to go ahead with the play. Long takes it himself around the right side and has the first down, diving to the 49. I don't think he got the snap off in time. Here in Kyle, in a college station at Kyle Field, and in between the quarters, both teams really struggling, taking their time to get back to the field of play, but they're ready to go. And on first and 10 from the 44, Long with the quick throw right side, it is incomplete, overthrown. Usually when he does, he gets the football. It's an eye formation with Goins, the eye back, behind Dustin Long. Three receivers also in there, and Long with the delay handoff to Goins. He was met in the backfield, but broke away to the 45, the 47 yard line. Right, the clock at five seconds right now, and he just comes up in the shotgun formation. Two, one, zero. He hasn't snapped it, and there's, there's finally the flag. They were just about to snap it. Still, after the five yard walk off, a third and long. It was going to be third and seven. Now it's third and 12, four long from the shotgun now. Straight back to throw. Aaron Hunt pressuring him, but he gets it out to the right side. It's caught by Joseph. He's very close to the first down and has the first down. Josilio Hanson knocking him out of bounds at the 43 yard line. It gives the Aggies a first down, and we're told that Bethel Johnson may or may not be back in the second half of this bowl game. Apparently injured early. Noticed he has not been in there. There since the punt return. Quick throw left side is caught by Terrence Thomas. Uh, only will gain about a yard, a yard and a half on the plate. Three receivers now for AM. I formation behind Long on second down and nine. Handoff goes to Weber left side. Has some blocking gain of about four on the surge. And then he is tackled at the 37, make that the 38 yard line. The Raiders can see the lead on the quarterback. I'm telling you, he's looking where he's going to throw the ball. Oshler Fleming in the backfield along with Long, who again gets the whistles blown just before the snap, and it looks like it could be another delay. It is. It's 14 to 7 over Tech as we start play again here. Third down and five. Big third down here for the Red Raider defense. Shotgun formation for Long. Straight back to throw. Has plenty of time. Finds his tight end, Greg Porter, at the 30-yard line in the center of the field, and he's immediately knocked down by Ryan Acock, but not until he has the first down. Anaheim Angels organization, but no pressure from the Red Raiders. Brought time to throw, time to find the big target. Eye formation, and the play action pass this time for Long. Throws right side. It's caught at the 15 to the 10-yard line, and the catch made for the Aggies. Ben Sam makes the catch and almost he remains in the game, split wide to the right, but Long is going to call a timeout to think about this one on a goal for Long and the Aggies. He's got the eye formation with Derek Farmer, the eye back behind him, two receivers split wide to the left. Long looks like he's changing the play and straight back to throw. He's going to float it to the end zone, slant pattern, caught, touchdown a and Terrence Murphy with the grab, and he did it in front of Josilio Hansen in the end. Quickly going up at the goal line. Murphy's first touchdown catch of the season, and the extra point by Pearson is good. His third straight, so with 11.33 left in the first half. Texas A&M leads Texas Tech here at Kyle Field, 21 to Savannah's Rent-A-Car. You'll always have home field advantage. For reservations, call 1-800-574-6000 or visit us online at advantagerentacar.com. Cody skates in to kick off from left to right. Kicking off to Ivory McCann, awaiting at his goal line, moves up to the four-yard line to grab it. Straight up the field to the 15. Tries to avoid some oncoming defenders at the 16, but can't. He'll lean forward as he's tackled to the 17. First and 10 Red Raiders at their own 18-yard line officially, and Kingsbury from under center. Blitz look for the Aggies, and Kingsbury comes back into the shotgun, changing the play. He's got Henderson alongside him. Long count, straight back to throw. He's flushed out of the pocket, pressured, running to his right. Will run with it, 15-20, up the sideline to the 25-yard line, and steps out of bounds there. Nicky Peters is back in there, by the way. The throw right side is caught, and moving from the 25 to the 30, and then up to the 33-yard line for Texas Tech is Nehemiah Glover. Makes the catch, coming on the slant from the split wide right position, and then tried to turn it upfield to gain a few more. It's a nine-yard pickup. Haverty replaces Peters on this play, and from under center, Kingsbury with motion coming across the backfield. 
fake to the motion man hand off to Henderson he's hit in the backfield he'll lose two yards Ty Warren was in there quickly to make the tackle helped out by Linus Smith on the play as one of those and the Tech offense has been all arms and catches so far in this game 10 18 left in the first half 21 7 a and m from the shotgun now Kingsbury on second 11 and flags fly and they're trying to call the play dead but Warren pops Kingsbury in the backfield and knocks him down. I think you're right and they're doing it now. Four receiver set Kingsbury from the shotgun. Straight back to throw has time this time floats it left side. Anton Page is open at midfield into A&M territory down to the 40 and inside the 40 to the 37 yard line. Francis Bachman and Trey Haverty trips on the far side. Anton Page on the near side first and 10 in Aggie territory at the 37 yard line from the shotgun. Kingsbury has Henderson next to him. Delay handoff goes to him. Has running room to the right side as he broke it off from going straight up the field. Cut to the right to the 35 and now leans forward to the 34 yard line. Sammy Davis up. 14 point AM lead but Tech threatening here on second down and five from the 33 yard line and Kingsbury four receiver set getting flushed out of the pocket trying to throw the screen left to Henderson or to Meeks rather but he was hurried on the play by Gerard Penwright has the touchdown also has the fumble though that turned into an AM score on their return drive so third down and five four receiver set Kingsbury lobbing it right sideline it's caught coming back for the football great catch on the far sideline by Carlos Francis and it's down to the 22 yard line it's a first down that ball First down, four receiver set again, and Kingsbury from the shotgun throws left side to Wes Welker. Spin move at the 18 to the 15, carrying a defender with him inside the 10-yard line. It was Marcus Jasmine that came from his nose guard position, had to peel back to get Welker. Ball was thrown to him on the left side. He made a great move to avoid one tackler, and then dove forward. Welker in the backfield this time, replacing Henderson from the shotgun. Kingsbury trips on the far side. The throw is to Welker at the five. Gets inside the five, loses the football at the three-yard line. No, the official says he was down. Boy, that was a close call there. As the first half, Red Raiders trailing by 14, but it is second and goal from just outside the two. Cliff Kingsbury will call a timeout. In the half-yard line, Kingsbury comes under center. He's got Torrey and Henderson behind him, two tight end formation. But he's going to throw right side slam pattern touchdown Red Raiders touchdown catch by Carlos Francis and the Red Raiders are on the board again it is 21 13 boy that was a great throw by Kingsbury and Francis who just got in front of the defender on the slant made the catch and you talk about that pregame report from Mark Finkner talking about how Carlos Francis would sure like to come back and make a big catch to forget about what happened two years ago here Kingsbury not much room for the two yards Robert Trees for the extra point. It is good, and the Red Raiders have cut the lead in half again. It is 21-14 A&M over Texas Tech with 7.55 left in the first half. A&M over Tech, but the Tech offense again marching down to score. Carlos Francis touchdown, and Clinton Greathouse puts his foot into the kickoff, sailing back and taken at the three-yard line by Terrence Thomas straight up the field to the 20 to the 22 and he'll be down at the 24 yard. Aggies take over first and 10 from their 24 already above their point average for the season. They only average 19.8 coming in and they're at 21 right now. Long play action pass. Couldn't find his receiver. He was covered now flushed out by Aaron Hunt and he has to throw it out of bounds incomplete. Great coverage down in the 40 45 yard area by Ryan Acock and company. He's hit his warm during college stage. So second down and 10 after the incompletion. Eye formation behind Long this time. Farmers the eye back. Play action throw again. This time he is going deep. Has a receiver at the Tech 40. It hits him and falls incomplete. It was intended for Terrence Murphy. And Raymond Pierce got back there from his safety position to help Joselio Hansen out. Fortunately, no call on the contact down there either. It's third and 10. High formation delay handoff to Farmer. He's met by Josh Page at the 25, wrapped up and dropped at the 26. It'll be fourth down, and we'll see a punt from the Aggies. 
fourth down from their own 26 yard line. It's the play now. Wes Welker waits downfield. Waiting at the 30 yard line. Cody Skates puts his foot into it. Welker averaging 11.5 per return has it after a nice spiral punt at his 30. Avoids a couple tacklers to the 40. To the sideline to the 45 to the 47 to the 48 yard line and is knocked out of bounds by the punter. Cody Skates but another nice return as usual by Wes Welker. Kingsbury from under center has trips on the near side on first down and 10. Torian Henderson in the backfield behind him. And Wes Welker in motion. Handoff goes to Welker. The motion man coming from left to right. Turns it upfield at midfield. And he may go to the 40, the 35-30. And he's tackled down at the 26. Caught from behind that time. Showing some good speed from Sammy Davis. For Wes Welker had himself a score as he turned the corner. That inside handoff. He's coming from the inside receiver position. In motion across the back. is the Big 12 total offense leader in Kingsbury on first down. Plenty of time. Now it breaks down and he's sacked. Sacked in the backfield. Foy Munlin now in the game to help block as Kingsbury gets flushed out of the pocket, but they're going to call this play dead. Second and 24. You should get three plays to do this here as Kingsbury four receiver sets. Going to throw. Steps up in the pocket. Throws left side to Anton Page at the 32. He's hit by Weston immediately and knocked down there. But that'll be a gain of about, well, let's see, about eight yards. Play clock down to five seconds as Kingsbury's under center. Offset eye right. He's going to throw it right to Carlos Francis. He's trying to pitch the ball back and he fumbles it instead covers at the 29. Oh my, what a mistake you've got there. Carlos Francis made the catch. He was trying to do the hook and ladder pitch. So with 438 left in the first half, AM has it again. I formation handoff. Derek Farmer has running room right side to the 35, the 40, pushes the pile to the 41 yard line and has a first down. Gain of 12. Well, your defense was tired, got to the sideline hoping your offense would march it. Instead, they're right back out there with 410 left in the first half. You don't want to give up a score here. Derek Farmer with more running room on first down, straight up the middle to the 45, almost to midfield. Very humid and very warm and no breeze to speak of. And Farmer's in there fresh after Weber had run a few plays. Fake reverse and Long's going to throw, but he can't find anybody. Now he does, throws it down the field and it's dropped again. Intended receiver who had it in his hands was Jamar Taylor, but he was also well covered by Joselio Hansen. Just had the opportunity fall to the wayside, though, because he did get his hands on the foot. Credit did another breakup of a pass, and he, of course, set the school record in that department last year. Third and one now, and Long's going to throw it. He throws it left side to Taylor. It's caught at the 45, and it'll be a first down AM. 120 wins, 42 losses. And uh-oh, Bethel Johnson is back in, split wide to the left, but Derek Farmer gets the football coming left, has running room around the corner, but he's fumbled, drops the football, he does get it back. It bounces right back into his arms at the 36-yard line. High formation now on second down and one. Actually a long one for long. Play action pass. He's looking deep. Can't find anybody there. Goes to the center of the field. It's almost intercepted by Mike Smith. No trouble, but clearly that's the long as sparks some life into this team. Has three times the touchdowns he had all season already in this game. He's rolling right. Has running room. If he takes it himself, he does. Gets the first down and steps out of bounds at the 30-yard line. Was chased by Raymond Pierce. Very good. The Red Raiders are going to have 12 men on the field. Replaced by a walk-on place kicker. Pegram's just three for nine, 33% coming in. So you got to stop him here in the 30-yard line. First and 10, I formation handoff to Derek Farmer. Has a lot of running room up the middle of the 25 to 20. Gets to the 15-yard line. Runs past him, and 15 yards is a lot closer to that goal. Well, you really need a big defensive play here. 140 left in the first half. AM up just by seven, but threatening. First and 10 from the 15. Long's going to throw left side. Gets it out there, but it's too hot to handle for Jamar Taylor. Whatever that meant. High formation now for AM from the 15 yard line on second down and 10. Play action, rolling left on the bootleg, throw into the end zone. Touchdown, AM. Caught by Terrence Thomas that time. 
correction, Bethel Johnson made the catch in front of another receiver for AM. Bethel Johnson kind of lobbed that one up, and Bethel came out of nowhere to make the catch. Bethel Johnson having a huge day. He had the big punt return and the big 78-yard touchdown catch. He's got another one. Two catches, 93 yards. The score right before the half here. 125 left in this first half. And now it's another 14-point lead for the Aggies. And this time Cody Skates kicks off, but not to Ivory McCann. He kicks it out of bounds. 175 yards and two touchdowns. Needs to get some more completions here from under center. Quick throw on the split screen left side to Wes Welker. He's met immediately and pushed backwards by Brian Gamble. And it will be maybe a loss of a yard. Shotgun again. Kingsbury quick throw to the center of the field to Torian Henderson at the 43. He dives forward to the 40 and crosses to the 38-yard line. Tech has been able to get within seven on three different occasions. Going to need to do it again here. 46 seconds left in the first half. Kingsbury on third down has plenty of time. Throws it way downfield. It's caught by Wes Welker at the AM 42, and then he's pushed forward to the 38 yard line. The gain for Tech of 20 yards. It's first down. They move the chain, stop the clock for a second, and here we go again. Kingsbury again time. Throws it to Henderson coming out of the backfield, and he gets wrapped up at the 33 yard line on the right side of the field. So they've got to keep on. Shotgun formation, back goes Kingsbury. Had trips on the far side, looking to the center of the field for Henderson out of the backfield again. Gets to the 25, that's a first down. That'll stop the clock at five seconds and move the chains. Kingsbury screaming at his team, got to be ready to down it. He's down under center now. The official is just about to wave his arm, does so. Kingsbury doesn't see it. It's down to three, now he throws it down with two seconds left. The back judge is the guy that that moved his arm in the motion to start the clock. Kingsbury was looking at the umpire standing in front of him. He didn't start the clock. It's the guy behind him that starts it. So three seconds went off the clock before Kingsbury. Hard effort right in the center of the field. No breeze whatsoever here at Kyle Field. The snap is back. Hold is down. Treese is put into it. It is plenty long enough, and it is good. So Robert Treese puts three points on the board for the Red Raiders just as the gun sounds here in the first half. And the Texas Tech three-point score cuts the lead to 28-17. Aggies lead it here at the half as the gun sounds 28-17 over Texas Tech. Thomas there to pull it down and say, I'm not coming out. First quarterback will get to the Tech defense after this first play. Eye formation behind Long, just as they started this game with Derek Farmer as the eye back. He gets the football coming left side, has blocking in front of him, breaks the 20 to the 25 and out of bounds at the 27-yard line. Lawrence Flugent's over to make the tackle defensively for Tech. Seven times in the second half, completing one. Here the Aggies start on the ground. Farmer with 12 carries, 78 yards, and it's play action this time. Rolling to his right on the bootleg is Long, getting chased by Adele Duckett. Flag flies as he throws it out of bounds and incomplete. Should be a holding on the offensive unit for AM. Boy, interesting that Long in this game was 10 of 19 passing in the first half with four touchdowns, and he was 12 of 19 in the first half of his first career start. A long throwing left side. Looked like he threw it over the head of Murphy, but he goes way up high to grab it at the 30 yard line. Is popped by Ricky Saylor just as he makes the catch, but hangs on. And he has just enough for the first down. Three credit there for taking charge and saying, we're not going to bring those chains in just because you want us to. Third down and in inches then for AM, long under center. High formation, hand off the farmer. He's hit in the backfield by Rodney McKinney and pushed backwards. He will not get to the line of scrimmage. In fact, he'll lose a full yard and a half. Lamont Anderson also in there. Ryan Aycock as well. 
and AM is going to have to punt. Make a nice play, and they gamble coming after the running back. They were coming after the punt, too, but Skates got away with it, and it'll sail down to Wes Welker, backtracking at his 22. Now comes up the field to the 30. Now he's heading to the far sideline at the 35 to 40, has blocking to the 45. Cuts around one defender into AM territory at the 46 yard line. Great return by Wes Welker again, having to field that punt, moving backwards. When he got his feet in position, he reversed his field to the far sideline, went up to the sideline, did a couple of jukes, and picks up 32 yards on the return. Offensive lineup for you in just a second. And this is the first offensive possession for Tech. First and 10 from the AM 46. Handoff goes to Torian Henderson, hit at the line, does a spin move, and gets maybe two yards on the Kingsbury, a quarterback, with two touchdown passes in that first half. Shotgun now for the Red Raiders on second down and eight. Ball is at the 44-yard line. Blitz look coming. Kingsbury, quick throw to the center of the field. Trey Haverty has it at the 35 to 30. Dives down to the 25-yard line. Quick hitter to Trey Haverty as Kingsbury read the blitz again. And Haverty coming on the slant. He was hit in stride. Gets the pickup. Throw now by Kingsbury on first down. Goes to... Henderson out of the backfield. He circles around to the 24-yard line. It'll be a gain of just two yards as Brian Gamble was there to pull him. Tech, they got to wait for Trey Haverty to get off the field. Now he does. One tight end in for Tech is Preston Hartfield. Blitz look coming again, and this time Kingsbury tried to go at the shovel pass, but he couldn't find Henderson and all the people, so he throws it to the ground, and they're going to call grounding. Kingsbury then with third and nine. 11.07 left in the third quarter. Tech down by 11, 28-17, and the ball is on the AM 24-yard line. Shotgun formation, four receiver set. Blitz is coming from the left side, and Kingsbury rolls to his right, tries to throw it to Torian Henderson, and he had to throw it in a hurry because he was getting chased on that right side. So another 42-yard field goal try by Robert Treese here with Great House holding. His right foot is into it, long enough, but it is no good, wide to the left. And Treese now six for 11 from field goal opportunities. Eye formation behind Long, first and 10 from the 25 yard line. AM's 25, and Derek Farmer is the eye back. He gets the football going right side, chased by Lamont Anderson in the pile. Looks like Aaron Hunt's the guy that got him with about a one yard gain. Did against Louisiana Tech. In fact, Dustin Long got all but one of his pass completions from the first half in that game last week. Then they ran the football exclusively in the second half. Farmer gets it left side, hit in the backfield, but breaks the tackle of Aaron Hunt. Gets back to the line of scrimmage and then is wrapped up there. And it was Mike Smith that caught him. It'll be a no gain on the play. It'll be third down and nine. That slowed him down enough for Red Raider Pursuit to get there. Here comes a big play. Aggies are seven of ten on third down. Bethel Johnson on the near side, and it's Taylor on the far side. That's where Long's looking. Right side, he throws to Taylor. It's caught at the 28-yard line and pushed out of bounds by Joselio Hansen. It's more effective, at least to this point, against the run. So Wes Welker awaits again. He had a 30-yard return the last time. Skates with two punts, 47.5 average, puts his foot into it. And again, a nice kick will take Welker all the way back to the 14, the 13-yard line. He's trying to find some running room, but he's going to run out of room at the 22. One of those deals where, again, he's backtracking, and this time, by the time he got his feet, several Aggies were there, and he tried to pick his way to find a seam. There were none. He did come back for one play, but obviously didn't clear things up enough. It is first and 10 tech on the 22 yard line and from the shotgun Kingsbury looking to his right can't find anybody goes to the center of the field and Anton Page is there has the catch at the 26 then leans forward to the 27 28 yard line. the huddle it worked in the first half to lay hand off to Henderson straight up the middle has some running room breaks some tackles to the 35 the 37 yard line and that's enough for a first down seven first and ten tech four receiver set no huddle Dylan Gandy now in at center for the Red Raiders and Kingsbury from the shotgun straight back to throw has time floating it deep down the left side to Anton Page goes up for it and it's incomplete Sean Weston also going up for it Wes 
Houston only 5'9", Page at 6'4". So second down and 10, and Kingsbury is going to throw again. Flushed out of the pocket. No, he's going to be sacked. No, he breaks the tackle, rolls to the sideline, dives to the 40, make that the 37-yard line, and it will be a sack. It'll be a loss of one, and Marcus Jasmine will get credited for the sack as he spun him around in the backfield. And so you can hear the crowd getting on its feet and going crazy again here. It's a big third down and 11, and Tech, Kingsbury flushed out of the pocket, can't find anybody, rolling to his right, getting chased by Penwright, finds Trey Haverty on the sideline at the 45, dives for the marker, but doesn't quite get there. They're going to mark him down at the 46. Looked like he reached the football out, but maybe his knee hit right there. Tech at 64% on fourth downs, up against 50% for the a and defense. Looks like Kingsbury's trying to draw him off. He's going to back off from under center. Now he goes back under and calls the timeout with one second left on the play clock. Ryan Aycock is the blocking back, and he has taken a couple of snaps and uh, has done the fake from that position before. 43-yard average for Greathouse standing back at his 31-yard line, and Bethel Johnson awaiting at the 12. Greathouse gets the snap. He will kick it. High, nice kick that floats down to Johnson, who calls the fair catch at the 15, and that's where he has it. Wes Welker got into that halo area, but then backed out at the last second, and Johnson calls the fair catch. It's a possession, but they need to come up with a turnover here to help out and give the offense the football back. It is first and 10 A&M. From the 16 I formation. Handoff goes to Farmer, hit at the line of scrimmage, and he'll get maybe two yards out of the deal. And Texas narrowly escapes Oklahoma State. Longhorns win 17-15. Second down and eight I formation. Play action bootleg right. Aaron Hunt chasing long. He's going deep. Has a guy wide open. Jamar Taylor at the tech 40. The 30 down to the 20 as a blocker with him. Touchdown. And Dustin Long has his fifth touchdown throw of the game. Pearson in for the extra point. Aaron Hunt almost blocked it, but it goes through. And that pushes the AM lead with 6.57 left in the third to 35 17. And Jamar Taylor get behind the secondary down. about a big special teams play here by Ivory McCann. The kick, the knuckleball, bounces out of bounds. They're not going to give him the chance, and they'll allow Tex offense to have the football at the 35. Skates kicking it out of bounds on the near sideline, and shotgun formation for Kingsbury. Vincent Meeks now in the game in the backfield. Four receivers set on first down and 10. Straight back goes Kingsbury looking for the screen pass to Meeks left side. He's got it at the 35, tries to get outside, but gets wrapped up by Sammy Davis, who spins him out of bounds at the 38-yard line on second down and seven. Four receiver set again. Kingsbury has the ball on the far hash mark. Straight back to throw, looking straight down the field. Now flushed out of the pocket, tries to get it to Henderson. It was incomplete, and a good thing it bounced down instead of up. But Sammy Davis was standing there waiting for the deflection. Would have had nothing but green in front of him towards the end zone. Yeah, this one is huge. 640 left in the third, and Tech down 35-17. They've got to get a first down. Kingsbury straight back to throw from under center. Has time. Has the receiver. Preston Hartfield in AM territory at the 46-yard line. Nehemiah Glover now in split wide to the left. Trips on the near side for Kingsbury from the shotgun. Henderson alongside him on first and 10. Straight back to throw. A lot of time. Finds a receiver in the center of the field. It's Trey Haverty very near the first down markers at the 36. Now 33 of 40 for 277. Straight back to throw on second and one. Left sideline has the catch at the 30. Spinning around and reaching the 27-yard line is the tech receiver, and that was Clay McGuire. Critical time to get points here if you're going to get back in this thing. And Kingsbury straight back, has time again, throws right side. It's intercepted. Byron Jones has it at the seven-yard line, and he breaks the tackle, is coming near side to the 25 to 30, and has hit, dropped at the 34-yard line by Wes Welker and Toby Cecil. Intended for Nehemiah Glover, thrown deep down the field about the five-yard line, but it was underthrown. 
The sophomore from Bay City hit by Welker actually caught the football up but was able to recover it as well. And it's first down, long handoff to Derek Farmer straight up the middle and he's hit at the line of scrimmage. Will gain about three yards after breaking that tackle. Second down, they roll right and hit the big one, the 82-yard touchdown pass. High formation behind long blitz look by the Red Raiders as two receivers are split wide to the right. Now they peel out of the blitz and long changes the play. He's going to throw. Looks to the right side. Throws it out there, and it's intercepted. Oh, and dropped by Joe Celio Hanson. He had it in his hands. It would have been a score. He cut in front of the intended receiver, Taylor. Read it beautifully. The pass thrown on the out route, and boy, Hanson had it in his hands. Dropped it as he was seeing the end zone. Red Raider touchdown. Has one interception in this game. Boy, that second one would have been huge. 4.41 left in the third, and Long goes straight back on third and six. Throws it. And it's caught by his tight end at the 47-yard line. Wrestled to the ground there, Greg Porter. He found Porter, the tight end. Yeah, and an awfully big guy at 6'5", 230 pounds. Tough to stop after he gets the ball. Play action, bootleg right, and Hunt is in Long's face, chasing him down. Hunt gets, or Long gets away from him, throws it deep down the field. It's tipped and incomplete as Taylor went up for it, had it in his hands at the 30-yard line, and it just bounced right out incomplete. No defenders around him. The ball to look out, Bethel Johnson is back on the field here on this play. Second down, the only back in the backfield is Derek Farmer. Three receivers in for Long on second down and 10. He's from under center. The handoff goes to Farmer right side, runs into his own man, then wrapped up by Josh Page at the 45-yard line. That'll be a loss of three. Up, but he messed up things enough to allow Josh Page to get there and bring down Farmer. Well, you got to stop him here on third down and 13. Van Zant on the near side. Two receivers on the far side, and back the throw goes long. Throws it out to the right side to Fleming, and it's incomplete. Jason Wesley with nice coverage on the right side of the field. Yeah. Red Raider defense has stopped AM again. Red Raider offense now running out of time. Three minutes plus left in the third period. Need to drive that ball down and score. 50.3 yard average today for Skates has another beauty. High, deep. And Welker has it. He's immediately hit at the seven-yard line. Leads forward to get the football up to the 10. But that was great coverage defensively for AM. And shotgun formation for Kingsbury. He's got Torian Henderson in the backfield. Francis in motion to the far side of the field. And two tight ends in. Straight back to throw. Shovel pass to Henderson. Blitz was coming. They read that play, and Henderson gets to the 15, spins just across the 15-yard line. And five, the ball is marked just over the 15-yard line. That's their own 15-yard line here late in the third quarter. Handoff to Wes Welker coming in motion at the 15, turns upfield, gets across the 20, will have the first down at the 21-yard line. E.J. Whitley with a nice block to help spring him around the corner. Receivers in, four receivers set actually for the Red Raiders is Haverty and Carlos Francis on the near side. That's the short side of the field. Blitz is coming as Kingsbury pumped once. Now he's going to get sacked back at his 13-yard line. Well, he pumped. Linus Smith didn't buy it. He kept coming. Second down and 19. Crowd is on its feet and making noise. You're in the end of the field where the stands are large. And Kingsbury getting flushed out of the pocket again. He'll be sacked again. Back at the 11. The market actually back at the 10-yard line. And that time it was... coming has time though this time throws it deep to Wes Welker at the 30 but he's not going to get to the first down marker by about a yard quarterback oh. in history and he's one away from the school record fourth and one Tech's going for it Pitch to the right side to Torian Henderson. Breaks a tackle around the corner to the 40, to midfield, down the sideline to the 41-yard line and knocked out of bounds. So he's in A&M territory to the 41. Henderson on the pit. What a gutsy call. The pitch right to Henderson on fourth and one in your own territory. First and 10 from the 41 of A&M. And Kingsbury in the shotgun has trips on the near side. Boy Munlin in the game now, and he gets the delayed handoff straight up the middle, powers his way to the 40 to the 39-yard line. That's a two-yard gain. It'll be second down and eight. 
Dylan Gandy in at center and E.J. Whitley at right guard now for Texas Tech. The snap back to Kingsbury, throws left side and it's incomplete. Looks like it got batted down at the line of scrimmage actually. Here after the fourth down, they tried back in their own territory. It's third down and eight from under center. Two tight ends in, but Kingsbury back to throw. He's getting flushed out and sacked in the pocket. He was trying to get out of the pocket, but gets sacked. And again, it's Keelan Jackson. And a sophomore from Garland with two big defensive plays. And it's third down, fourth down, rather, and 13. Kingsbury from the shotgun, straight back. This time flushed straight up the pocket. He's got a man open, Wes Welker. He's got it at the 31, turns up field to the 25, and is hit out of bounds at the 23-yard line, has the first down. First and 10 from the 24, Kingsbury from under center. Quick throw left side. It's caught by Nehemiah Glover, but quickly down by Sammy Davis. Down at the 21, it'll be a gain of just two. Sets up in his shotgun with trips on the far side. And Nehemiah Glover on the near side. Long count by Kingsbury on second down and eight. Straight back to throw. Pocket collapsing, throws it deep to the end zone. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Wes Welker with the catch from Kingsbury. And boy, Kingsbury got popped just as he threw it, but it was a beautiful throw that hit Welker in stride in the end zone for the 21-yard touchdown. Nice throw by Cliff Kingsbury to stand in there under pressure and wait. Texas Tech this afternoon going for two here as Tech is within 35-23. Carlos Francis in motion across the backfield from the near side to the far side. Four receivers now and the quick throw by Kingsbury and it's blocked away. Knocked down by Brian Gamble and it's incomplete so the two-point conversion is no good. Johnson and Terrence Thomas awaiting the kick from Great House. It sails down to Thomas. He gets it at the three, tries to head to the center of the field, and is hit by Josh Rangel again. And he's really been out there on special teams as he hits him at about the 18-yard line and pushes him backwards. Actually, they'll give him the forward motion to the 20. 10 for AM. Dustin Long has gone the entire way at quarterback. No Reggie McNeil in this one. They haven't needed him. High formation. Handoff goes to Farmer coming near side, trying to turn the corner. And he does to the 24-yard line and leans forward to the 25 where Lawrence Flugents knocks him out of bounds. Right on that first play behind Taylor Whitley, their 308-pound guard, a kid making his 29th straight start out of Sudan out near Love. Hand off straight up the middle to Farmer. He's hit by Aaron Hunt, but not until he reaches the 30-yard line. Very close to another AM first down. Boy, you've got to stop them before they can move the chains and keep the clock going here. I formation, hand off the farmer again, straight up the middle. He'll gain a few yards on the play and almost had his head taken off by Lamont Anderson. It was Flugents. Second down and nine, gain of one on that play, offset eye left. Handoff goes to Farmer straight up the middle. He's hit in the backfield by Flugents and dives forward to the 32. It'll be a gain of just one more yard. Mike Johnson, if he's in that hole and the tagging tied in, that's going to favor Third down and eight, shotgun formation for Long. He has Oshler Fleming in the backfield with him. He quickly comes out of the backfield. That's where he's throwing it, near side. Has Fleming at the 34, breaks the tackle. And no, he stepped out of bounds at the 35-yard line, and that'll be short of the first down as Ricky standing back at his 15-yard line. Skates ready to put his foot into it. 49.5-yard average this afternoon. And this one is high and wobbly. Welker awaits it at the 15-yard line. He has some running room to the right side, gets a great block, headed up the sideline to the 30, to the 33-yard line. It was John Saldy that came in and just leveled Keelan Jackson. Hey, you're only two touchdowns from taking the lead here. Kingsbury from under center. Welker in motion, doesn't get the handoff because he fumbles it at the 30, drops down, and Kingsbury recovers it at the 29. Page and Bachman on the near side, Haverty and Carlos Francis on the far side. Kingsbury getting pressured from Davis on the blitz, throws it left side, Anton Page goes up and grabs it, pulls it down at the 47-yard line. Shotgun formation, Welker going across the backfield to form trips on the far side, and Kingsbury throws it to him at midfield, and he burrows his way to the 45 to the 43-yard line of a and That's very close to another first down. It'll be a nine-and-a-half-yard game.
He's on the near side with Francis and Glover. Trey Haverty on the far side on second and inches from the shotgun. Blitz coming. Kingsbury has time, though. Can't find anybody. He's going to run with it. Cuts outside to the sideline. Gets to the first down marker and steps out of bounds. The only good news is it stopped the clock at 7.30. Kingsbury from under center, third and inches. And he's going to play action, try to throw it left side deep to Nehemiah Glover, covered by Jones. Flag flies as the ball falls incomplete. Jones tried to swat the ball away before it got there. Handling by 12, 35-23. And Kingsbury under center has Clay McGuire in motion across the backfield, but the handoff goes to Henderson straight up the middle, hit by Brian Gamble and dropped at the 24-yard line. But, but he needs a 24-yarder here for a score. From the shotgun, trips on the far side. He's going to throw to the near side, Anton Page at the 17, tries to do a stiff arm to the 15, and he's out of bounds. Stiffed arm Weston down to the ground and then got shoved out of bounds after a little help by Keel. Bit of a breather going out of bounds. 6.45 left, and here we go. First and 10 from the 15. Four receiver set. Receiver in motion is Armand Duro across the backfield to the near side. Trips on the near side now, and a shovel pass to Henderson. Has running room up the middle to the 10, the 5. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Cliff Kingsbury on the shovel pass to Henderson. He went right up the middle was hit at about the three-yard line and drug the defender into the end zone for the score and with 6.38 left to play, a 15-yard touchdown, and he called that a pass on the shovel pass, and it's 35-29. Speed and quickness right off the gun. Robert Treese in for the extra point. It would make it a five-point ball game. He's got it up, and it is good. So with 6.38 left to play here at Kyle Field, plenty of time. And Texas A&M's lead down to five, 35-30 over Tech. We'll be back more after this. Early in this game, he's got two touchdown catches in all, and he also has a big return of the punt. So he's had some very big plays in this one. Great house is going to kick it straight down the field, but it's Thomas that's awaiting it. Terrence Thomas takes it at the three, comes straight up the field to the 15, the 20, breaks tackles to the 30, and he'll have it to the... 31-yard line, and that's where AM will take it first and 10 with 6.28 left. Four plays right here to get the football back to the offense. Eye formation behind Long. They've been very conservative in the last quarter and a half. Handoff goes to Farmer left side. He'll gain five or six. He actually carries the pile to seven. It'll be second down and three. Ryan Aycock comes up to get the tackle. Second down and four. Eye formation behind Long again. And Farmer's back there, gets the handoff right side this time. Nothing but running room. Raymond Pierce can't get him. He's the midfield, wrapped up by Ricky Saylor at the Tech 49-yard line, and the clock will continue to roll at 538. More important, he's going to run a couple more minutes off the clock. 519 and counting. Handoff again left side, this time to Fleming. He's breaking tackles at the line of scrimmage, still churning his feet to the 46-yard line. Officially seven for AM. I formation with Fleming. The eye back. Long count by long, and it's play action. Bootleg right. He's going to get hit. Fumbles the football. Tech had it, and they cannot hang on to it. AM recovers. Oh, Ryan Aycock had it, but he tried to scoop it up and run with it rather than fall down on it. It squirted loose, and AM gets it back. It'll be a sack back to the 48 yard line. Side four minutes to play, third and 13 from the shotgun long. Straight back to throw, he's going to run it, gets hit behind the line, and he's sacked again. Oh, this will be a loss of about five yards. They're going to have to punt. Adele Duckett snuffed that one out and got long. Down now to eight seconds to play clock. Five punts, 49-yard average for skates, and here he goes. Puts his foot into it. This one, a wobbler towards the right side of the field. Welker takes it at the 11. He's going to try to get to the right sideline, breaks a tackle. He's got running room at the 30, the 35-40. He's the midfield, the 45-40. He may go 25-10. Touchdown, Red Raiders. Oh, my goodness. 89 yards on the punt return, and Tech has the lead. Oh, can you believe this? 
a hero Wes Welker has been today on the receiving end, the running end, and the punt return, an 89-yard touchdown. Wes Welker by Brian Gamble. This would be a huge two-pointer because it would give you the three-point lead, and therefore a field goal obviously would just tie you. Motion in the backfield, across the backfield by Carlos Francis. Shotgun blitz is coming and flags fly. It looks like AM may have gone off sides as they were showing blitz and they may have stepped into the neutral zone and didn't get back in time. All right, two point conversion try will come from the eight yard line. And again, Francis in motion from near side to far side. Kingsbury in the shotgun, two backs back there to help block. Quick throw on the slant, Anton Page, two point conversion, Red Raiders is good. What a great pattern by Anton Page as he cut right in front of the defender on the slant, kept his feet going and Kingsbury hit him in motion in stride, never had to slow down, gets the two-pointer, and now a three-point lead for Tech with 2.48 left to play, 35, or 38, rather, to 35. Tech over A&M. We'll be back with more Texas. Greathouse's kick will go to Thomas, two yards deep in the end zone. He comes straight up the field to the 10, the 15. He's hit there, breaks the tackle to the 25, and a nice tackle is made by Tex Nehemiah Glover. First and 10 from the 25. Goines and Fleming in the backfield with Long from the shotgun. Blitz is coming from Flugent straight up the middle, hits long as he throws, and it's incomplete. Great defensive coverage by Ricky Saylor on the near sideline. Bethel Johnson, the intended receiver. Bethel Johnson, and that's where they went on down 2.37 left to play. Second and 10, shotgun long, straight back. Blitz is coming again, picked up well, though. Throw left side, batted away, almost intercepted. Taylor went up for it, and he was well covered by Hansen, and the ball falls incomplete. This throw was thrown to the left side, and three defenders were there around Taylor. No, Stacy Jones and Oshler Fleming now in the backfield to help block as Long from the shotgun goes back on third down. He's being chased out of the backfield by Tim Norman, throws it deep. It's caught by Greg Moore, Greg Porter. Oh, what a great catch. He went up high at the Tech 45 and pulled it down in front of Marcus Boyd. Oh, man, Marcus Boyd and Jocelyn Hansen were there, but Greg Porter... The guy 2.15 left from the Tech 44. First down, quick throw right side. Jamar Taylor has it at the 40, pushed out of bounds by Boyd. Correction by Hansen. They have had field goal trouble, so that's an area you certainly want to make them try a long field goal. Shotgun formation, second down and six. Long, straight back to throw. He's looking right now to the center of the field. Has it there, but great defensive play by Tim Norman, diving in front of Porter and knocking it incomplete. You've got... He is not on the field. Back goes long. Third down and six. Blitz coming. Unloads. Almost intercepted and dropped. He tried to get it to Taylor. And it was Tim Norman again. Boy, the freshman really playing some great defense here when it counts, and squad member, to try the long field goal. But instead, Tech doesn't have their right defense out. Now they get them out there, and the 11 guys are out there. Here we go, fourth down and six. Long, straight back to throw. He's getting pressured, has a receiver at the 35. He's got the first down and more. The 30, there's a flag down to the 23-yard line and out of bounds with 155 left to play. Penalty anyway. Okay. Minute 55 left, Tech by three. First down and 10 from the 24-yard line. I formation now behind Long under center. He's going to hand the football off to Derek Farmer right side. To the 20, to 15. Down to the 10, inside the 10, to the 9-yard line. A minute 48 left. The ball will be inside the 10-yard line. It'll be a first and goal. Boy, does this feel too much like North Carolina State. Minute 48 left to play. I formation long, looking left side to throw. Has Porter at the 5-yard line. Breaks Pierce's tackle, and he's carrying players in, but there's a fumble. The Aggies will cover. Touchdown, A&M. Porter had the football. He was about to be stripped, and they lost the ball. That's, that's twice on that drive that they had fumbles that could have turned this game back into Tech's hands again, but instead they get the lead 41-38, and now 42-38 with 
the X. No, it is no good. So 41-38, and that's a three-point lead, and now Tech has the chance. With sideline to the 10 the 15 now trying to come to the near sideline dips cuts and he's at the 18 yard line will be caught there by four Aggies off to the ground where Tech will have it first and 10 from the end, trailing by three shotgun for Kingsbury he's got Henderson beside him trips on the far side Anton Page on the near side let's look they're coming from the right side quick throw left side tipped at the line of scrimmage Anton Page catches it at the 30 gets to the 35 the 40 is to the 41-yard line. That's a first down. That'll move the chains. That stops the clock with a minute 26 left to play. Peters down low makes the grab at the 47 yard line but that's just seven yards won't move the chains or stop the clock a minute four and counting King second down and four ball is at the 47 yard line trips on the near side Peters on the far side Kingsbury from the shotgun looks to his left has time unloads it to Henderson at midfield he ran backwards did not get the first down had he taken one step forward he'd have had the first down to stop the clock seven 36 and third down and one. Clock is now inside, 30 seconds to play. Trips on the near side again, Kingsbury. Very calm back there. From the shotgun, takes the snap with 20 seconds left. Throwing it deep down the left side, he's got Carlos Francis. Great catch at the 20. Well, Carlos Francis, wanting to make an impact. Gets the catch, gets the 30-yard gain. They move up at 16, and here comes the Tech offense, down to the 20. Clock is running, and they'll ground the football now with 10 seconds left to play. Kingsbury will have a second down and 10 unless they bring Robert Treese in now to try the field goal. Page on the near side. 10 seconds left to play. It's second down and 10 from the 20 from the shotgun. And that's where Kingsbury is going. There's a flag down. They're calling. Oh, it was going to be a touchdown. He caught it. But there was a flag down. And they're calling a delay against the Red Raiders. Well, Tech had the touchdown. The one-on-one -on -one matchup, Page and Weston. It was a lob throw to the corner of the end zone. You've seen it so And AM makes the change. They put Sammy Davis on Anton Page now. Four receiver set, though, with Welker next to him as well. Kingsbury's going to lob it to the end zone this time. Right side, nobody's there. It falls incomplete. Six seconds left on the clock. And it was intended for Carlos Francis. He was double covered. Near hash mark. Six seconds left to play on third down. Unless a defensive penalty, this is it. With the snap, great house to hold. The kick is up. It is long enough, and it is good. The Red Raiders have tied it 41 41 with two seconds left to play. Had three for nine in his first four games. They decided not to go with it. Great house with the squib kick. It'll bounce down. Brian Gamble lets it go. Joe Weber has it at the 24 yard line. He's going to run with it and then just falls down at the 34 when he's met by a host of Red Raiders, and the clock runs down to zero. So, the final gun in regulation has sounded. We're going to overtime. At but he has more points than the other after two possessions each in overtime. First play, handoff to Farmer, straight up the middle, has about four, maybe five yards as he gets to the 20-yard line, right through the swarm of defenders for Texas Tech. It'll be second down and five. That's where we're at, Second down and five, eye formation again with Farmer, the eye back, gets the handoff right side this time, met in the backfield and dropped for a loss of two. 
And a timeout, the only timeout you get in an overtime period is called by Dustin Long. The clock was winding down after the play came in slow. 80.7% here this afternoon. But this is the key play in overtime so far. Third down and six. Long from the shotgun has plenty of time to throw. Goes left side. It's caught. Caught by Taylor. Breaks the tackle at the 10. Gets inside the 5 to the 3-yard line. Raymond Pierce and Josilio Hansen finally had to wrap him up, but that one was just credited to the offensive line of AM. Terrence Murphy that comes in split wide to the right, Thomas split wide to the left, but it's eye formation. Derek Farmer, the eye back on first and goal from the three. Play action pass, bootleg right. He's got a receiver wide open. It's Terrence Thomas for the touchdown, Aggie. So AM comes in on offense and on the big third down play, they get the first down, and then on the very next one, this is and this is Pearson, the 12th man squadman that has been in kicking extra points on almost blocked by Aaron Hunt. It's no good. It's no good. So the Raiders need a touchdown and an extra point to win this thing. Split to the left. Shotgun formation for Kingsbury. They're showing blitz coming from the left side of Kingsbury and straight up the middle. Here we go. He sees the blitz coming from Penwright, rolls to his left, looking for a receiver, can't find him. He's going to run out of bounds at the 18-yard line. They'll actually mark it at the 19. He had Wes Welker behind coverage near the end zone. Run, so it's second down and four. You can hear the crowd. Four receivers set again for Kingsbury. Blitz is coming again. He's going to run straight up the middle, and he gets hit at the 20. We'll actually lose a yard. This will be another sack back to the 21-yard line. to the end zone to Carlos Francis. He's getting bumped and there's a flag. The ball falls incomplete. Interference called on the play and it was, it looked like it was Byron Jones over there defending and he's now got his second interference call. In that last drive and now he's also had the interference call against him. Here we go, first and goal from the five yard line. Four receiver set. Kingsbury straight back, flips it to Henderson out of the backfield, catches it, tries to break a tackle. He's going to get dropped for a five-yard loss back to the 10. It was a swing pass to the right side, and that didn't fool anybody, including Byron Jones and Sean West. Late substitution, Nehemiah Glover comes in, checks in for Francis. We've got Anton Page on the near side. Kingsbury looking to the center of the field, and it's the screen pass to Henderson, breaks at the five. Touchdown, Red Raiders! Touchdown, Texas Tech. And the score goes from Kingsbury to Nehemiah Glover, who came in on the split screen pass, 10-yard touchdown, Kingsbury to Glover. And Texas Tech is tied at 47 all. They just need the extra point from Robert Treese, who is perfect in his career. Well, yeah. Trees, extra point. Eric Barty with the snap. Great house to hold. The extra point is up, and it is good. The Red Raiders have won in overtime at Kyle Field in College Station, knocking off the number 23 Texas A&M Aggies. Oh my, what a game!